Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In my previous videos I talked about errors in printed books that could happen if you do not flatten your interiors and covers, so your PDF, for print. I also showed you how you can increase the DPI of your images when you are working in PowerPoint by changing the values in system registry. Also, I noticed that a lot of people are using PowerPoint for different projects and they require flattening capability for different reasons. For example, publishing digital printables on Etsy, Teachers Pay Teachers and for Amazon KDP Book Publishing. In this video, I'm going to show you new PowerPoint add-in and with this PowerPoint add-in, you can flatten slides in high DPI, that's dots per inch resolution, and export all slides as print-ready PDF directly from PowerPoint. So let's start with the installation procedure. When you download file from Gumroad, it will be in the zip folder, compressed folder. You need to unzip it using WinRAR or 7-zip, whatever you have on your computer. You need to make sure that you close all PowerPoint files, so PowerPoint needs to be off completely. And then you need to move or copy the file that is named Flatten PDF MAD, Marina R Design, PPAM extension. So it will look like this, it will have icon like this. And you need to move this file to location that you're going to find by clicking on this PC, local disk, and then your PC name, your username, then folder app data, roaming, Microsoft add-ins. So you need to move it in that folder. And then after you did this, you need to open PowerPoint. Now, if you cannot see the app data folder, click on the view tab and select hidden items. And then it will show you the app data. After you have moved the PPAM file into specific folder, you need to open PowerPoint and click on File, Options, Add-ins. And now here under Manage, from the drop menu, select PowerPoint Add-ins and click Go. And now here I have a list and because I already put it here, it's already listed, but you will click Add New. And it's going to open that folder where you just uh, moved the flattened PDF MAD PPAM. Select it and click OK. Now, I'm not going to do it now because it's going to load a double of uh, two versions of it. So just click on that and click Load. And after you do this, it's going to become part of your ribbon. It's going to be here. You will see a new tab in the ribbon and it's going to be called Flat PDF. So let's click on that one. Now you see it here on the top. And now what you need to do is you need to prepare your uh, PowerPoint presentation, your book, your cover, whatever you are working on. And once you are finished with your PowerPoint file and you are ready to export, click on the flatten icon here that is represented with the rolling pin. Now let me open another presentation. So this is a puzzle book. You see, this is a puzzle book generated with puzzle uh, look uh, puzzle generator. So I'm going to click on flat PDF and I'm going to click on flatten plus export as PDF. And now I'm going to have this menu here and this menu here is going to be different for you. It will depend on what you have on your computer that can create from a file to PDF that can actually export files, any files to PDF. So if you don't see anything here, that means that you need to use some kind of free tools that are available. So you can uh, download a PDF creator. That one is free. Uh, I will also make a list of options for you. Uh, so you can get a couple of uh, totally free uh, PDF converters. But if you have already some some of them pick any that you know that is good for example i would pick the first one but you can also pick whatever you want and now please choose the export dpi for your slides now 
Here you're going to pick the number. Keep in mind that the higher number you select, the bigger the file is going to be. So the size of the file is going to be bigger. And it's if you only have a couple of slides, it's not important if it's going to be just for printables on Etsy, it doesn't matter. But if it's going to be like 100, 200 slides and it is your book, keep in mind that 600 is enough. You don't have to go beyond 600. Maximum I would suggest would be 1,200, depending how much quality do you want to have in the end file. But there is absolutely no need to go beyond 1,200, while 600 is still good. Now, I know the recommended is 300, but keep in mind that it's not recommended 300, it's minimum. So 300 is minimum, 600 is optimal, and 1,200 is if you want to be extreme with your file. And now once you click OK, what is going to happen, it's going to start preparing the slides. And when it is finished, it's going to ask you where you want to save the PDF file and, and give you the option to pick the name, to type in the name of your uh, file. Depending on what you have on your slide, this could take maybe a minute or two. And once it is finished, it's going to create two things. It's going to create a PDF file exported in the quality you selected. And it's also going to create a temporary folder. I'm going to show you that. Now, this temporary folder will be under, once again, uh, your computer, users, your username, documents, Marina R Design, print to PDF. The name of the folder will be TEMP, temp, and every slide will be there as a PNG image. You don't have to do anything with this folder. It will automatically overwrite itself when you flatten another PPT again. The reason why I'm mentioning you this, that all the PNG images will be here temporarily, is in case if you want to see them, if you want to use them, you could go here and copy them to another folder. Once you use this flattener again, it is going to overwrite those images in temp folder. That's the reason why the name of the folder is temp. That is only for temporarily exported PNG files that will be used to create PDF file. This PowerPoint add-in at the moment is available completely free in my Gamrot store. Link is down below in the description. It is only working for Windows users at the moment. And I can only guarantee you that it is going to work for newer versions of PowerPoint, like 2019, 2020, 21, and 365. So the new versions of PowerPoint. I cannot guarantee it's going to work for older versions. It, because it's free, you can download and test is it, going, is it going to work, but I cannot guarantee it's going to work with older versions. I know for sure that is working for PowerPoint 2019 and above. And now for the giveaway. Everyone who downloads this add-in in next seven days will enter the giveaway contest and three lucky uh, users have chance of winning either Luke Bow's Puzzle Generator Lifetime License, Mega Templates Lifetime License, or Maze Generator Lifetime Licenses. Three winners will be selected randomly from the emails provided in Gumroad. Anyone who downloads this PowerPoint add-in from Gumroad and wants to participate in this giveaway contest should use valid email so I can contact you and also your lifetime license, if you win, will be attached to that email. If you have any questions, ask me down below in the comments and as usual, until next video, I'll see you in the comments. Bye!